What's good, y'all? Weeb Club back with another video. Monster episode 30. Hey, last episode, Johan, he got a man wrapped up. Let's see what's happening in this episode. Let's go. Surely it's not his funeral already. It is. You know his soul has been set free. It will go on and live forever. GG, let's go, homie. Remember Damn, uh, should have sent me the invite. I, I, I would have pulled up. <laughs> I don't even get what, like, occurred. It doesn't make any sense. He just looks so much unfinished. Did he jump? I'm shocked that no one from the police force is here. Richard was I think so. I'm not sure, though. One of them came to pay their respects. It's ironic about him. Drinking on duty cost him his career. Drunken like, fall. Yeah, sure. Said. His voice was so alive when he called. He was very excited about seeing his daughter, but he never quite knew. Damn. We I mean, know technically he probably did suicide though. Like Johan just talked to him. No, he did uh, everything I could to He definitely did it himself. Oh, of course. But, like, yeah, it was like yeah, it was his I choice, but Johan let but, like, him. But like I mean, yeah. he Not completely only his fault. recovery. I was wrong. I feel like I never did enough to help him. Tenma is the key. If we could question him, we might get the answers to help us solve all of this. Amen. I do believe you're right. As long as we succeed in the end, we'll be okay. This wasn't an accident. Or a suicide. Yeah. As you said, a few hours before his death, Richard was on the phone happily talking to his daughter. He wanted to see her. He got you baited. It all comes down to ten months. You did all that you could and you had helped him. Richard had quit drinking and was on the road to recovery. You, you did a great job, Doc. You did a great job, man. Whatever How much more can be done? It's Johan, bro. <coughs> what can be done? Whoa. Ooh, training <laughs> arc. <laughs> training <laughs> arc. What? <laughs> no way. Yo, you run a hella fast for his time. Listen to this. You aren't gonna believe it. I'm serious. I found out my husband's having an affair. So I confronted him and now he won't even speak to me. He just washes uh, the car, now we gotta cleans deal the garage, and gives me the silent treatment. I know he's avoiding me. It's no so more obvious. Detective. I wait up for him to come to bed, but he falls asleep in his chair. Besides being blonde and beautiful, what she got that I don't? Huh? Doctor, are you listening to me? No. Uh, of course. Please, continue. Now, here's the part you were just not going to believe. I decided to confront this other woman, so I go over to her place, and what do you think? Nah, the, the come up's gonna be crazy. No, not a chance, Doc. Oh, it was an unlucky accident. <laughs> Richard Brown was alone that evening when he went up to the roof of building number 12 at Munich University. He polished off a bottle of whiskey, and he got so drunk he fell off the roof. Bro, End of story. This guy's just a hater, though. I know. Have it thoroughly examined? Probably. Yes, of course we did, and we found Richard's prints on it. If you don't mind, could I see that bottle? Why, yeah, sure. Then your detective bag, then okay. Smash. Oh, Richard. Richard, Richard, Richard. Does he even like that kind of alcohol? It's a real question. I think there's something we both know, Doctor. As you said, a few sound. hours before his death, Richard was on the phone happily talking to his daughter. He wanted to see her. Mm. Come on, any... Well, I guess from the outside, it does, it does probably look like a suicide, but if you know, you know. I mean, even if we figure out that it's not, like, how are we gonna know that it's Johan? Yeah. Him? Yeah. The guy oh, I mean, we'll probably know it's Johan, but we won't know. They were at the bar together. I'm this is a sure. pretty good lead. I really don't remember. So yeah, you but, like, we need, like, concrete here, evidence. But you don't recall if he was here with someone or alone. It was him. He had a cup of coffee. Coffee, eh? Yeah, that's the reason I remember him. Most folks order drinks with alcohol when they come here. Not him. So tell me, is there a chance this young man... Okay? That night? I... I really couldn't tell you. What? You're not even trying. Look, Come I told you, I don't know. We got tons of customers who come into this place, mister. But like I told mm. the cops, I think the coffee guy did buy a bottle of whiskey. I got a receipt. I told you, I don't remember. Yo, this guy. Well, I'm gonna need you to remember, guy. A bottle of whiskey. Wait, what did you just say? Mm. Like this one, a fifth of blended whiskey. Mm. Uh-huh. I can't believe it. I'm a little lost. Why didn't it hit me when I saw that bottle at the police station? Mm -hmm. Have you been drinking again? Well, um... Just a little. So what do you drink? Scotch. I only drink scotch. Hey. So you're stinking up my entire office with the smell of cheap booze. Cheap booze? Are you kidding me? I'd never drink cheap rocket. If I'm going to drink, it's real scotch. Or nothing else. <laughs> okay. Richard so didn't buy that bottle of whiskey. He drinks that good shit. Yeah. I mean, they're already sus about Johan, so I guess they can figure it out for sure. But I don't no, know. No, he'll figure it out that it's Johan. Will he... Will he live to tell the tale? Him? Will he do anything? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, that's the problem. It must have been him. I know they're playing right now. <laughs> hey, hey you! Hey, so, Wait, what well, we put yeah, we've been putting the work in. Come on now. Up the stairs, no problem. Look at the stride. Oh, Wait, what just happened? Good. Did he? Did he? It's turning. Did he take something from us, or did he? You know, I have no idea. <laughs> Well, that guy's got some endurance. I mean, he young. The bar. 
billiards. What, so you're just gonna try and like blend in? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. In Assassin's Creed, baby. Hey, Come on. Hey, what do you want? Why'd you just try to push me onto the tracks? What the? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah. Stop playing with us. Hey there, old man. You got a problem with my friend? Bad idea. Oh, then we do. Then we do. Oh, he can. Oh yeah, he can train that karate. Oh no, we're getting jumped, bro. What is this? Yeah. I was hoping he had his karate arc. I mean, we could easily take one on one. Told you to push me. Two on one is a little much. I ain't gonna lie. My glasses. Hey, shut up. At your age, old man, you should be at home playing with your grandkids. <laughs> I mean, is that a I diss? Still want an answer. <laughs> oh, okay. yes, sir. Right. Oh, it looks like a whole ass bitch. Yo. Speak up. Why did you try to push me earlier? I, I don't know. Don't you dare <laughs> try to pull one over on me. I don't know. Somebody asked me to do it. Who was it? It was some big guy. Big guy. What do you mean a big, big guy. guy? He gave me money to do it. He did a pretty shit job of doing that. Yeah, you're pretty bad at it. I mean, he's a big body. He's he's grounded, you know what I mean? I just put your shoulder into it. He's, like, he's not going to expect it, you know? Yeah, these boys got fucked up. Yeah, that's crazy. He had the upper hand at first, and they got smoked. Yeah. Damn. Oh man, Richard. Richard. Only knew you for like six eps, but it was tough. Nah. We don't need another tombstone, Doc. I bought you scotch, single malt. The really good stuff you like. You deserve it. Pour my one out, bro. Damn, bro. It's okay. You can have a drink now. Damn. You can count on me, Richard. As God is my witness, I'll identify the guy who did this. I'm with this. Damn. Okay, Batman. Relax. True identity. Probably here right I now. I feel like we can succeed. Oh! <gasps> oh! No oh, way! Shit. Ten bucks! He's in the so building. Business, How many oh, fucking episodes? What I think. I said that his Let's cheating on go. me is a disease that's festering Ten inside him. We're in, boys. We're looking good now. Here in counseling, not me. I like this. Doctor, did you hear what I said? Hmm? Why, yes, I did. Go ahead. Cap gun. Well, then tell me. I feel like my depression's only going to get worse, oh, isn't it? Damn. Well, no. Uh huh? Honestly, I'm more concerned about your husband's self diagnosis your mental state. We must find out why he's giving you the silent treatment. That's what I think. The big leg doesn't know which end is up. Please make some time to see my husband. I have a slot open the day after tomorrow at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I'll tell him tonight. Make sure you give that cheating jerk a good talking to you, doctor. Don't hold back. You got that? Damn, they met up. They met up. October. This is when we turn up, no? Doctor, that was the last of your appointments for today. Oh, yeah. Good. Thank you very much. We got one more. See you tomorrow, then. All right then. Good night. Oh, and there's one more thing. Yesterday you forgot to lock the stairwell door to our office again. Wait, I did it again. I'm sorry. I almost forgot today too. Fire. I can't believe it. Have a nice evening. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Dr. Gillen. It's Dr. Reichwein. I saw today's paper. Ah, well, yes, I saw your newspaper ad in there. So you really think if Dr. Tenma sees this message in the paper that he will try to get in touch with us? Absolutely. And he'll definitely contact Noah about I see. Okay. Now, Doctor, please, don't make any moves until we hear from you. Understood. But there's still one related matter that I need to investigate. So is this... What's that? This prostitute who pretended to be Margot Langer just might have answers. I'm following up on something Richard said. That prostitute told me that when Farin, the boy who killed himself, went to see her, he had a young man a Young man. He was a young, beautiful guy with blonde hair. I don't know, Johan. People are on your tail. If I want to get to the bottom of this, I'll have to be chest, very cautious. Checkers. Well, I'll call you later, Doctor. Oh, Holy boy. shit. Oh, no. So, Merit, today you forget to shut the window. <laughs> I don't know if that's her at this point. What? Margot Langer, huh? Never Pussy. heard of her. Well, I understand <laughs> she goes by the name of uh, Sophie. Oh, yeah. So you want that fat old hat? Is Damn. that what floats your boat, Gramps? No, wait. It's not like that. That oh, is what floats it. Fine, they go right two blocks down the brick building, second floor. But I know she's not there right now. Huh? I haven't seen her around in about a week. She's she dead. probably went to some place that's nicer. We haven't seen her around. We don't give a fuck. Who the hell knows? My guess is she's with this really rich guy who used to be a regular customer. Hey, what do you say you give me a try, old man? He must have money, and I'm sure I'm more fun than her. Oh, my God. You know where she went? How would I know? 
So she New customer. Client, eh? She telling uh -huh. us a lot of details. She she is. She is. Her age than to fall for a guy like him. Yo, he was what with this large yeah, guy. Yeah, I heard he was pretty big downstairs too. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Those, those Doctor, didn't need those details. Me. Do you remember me asking you if it would be all right for me to leave early today? You said you needed to leave at five. That'll be fine. The only appointment I have left today is Mrs. Hess's husband. Are you Ooh. going on a date to me? Oh, don't be silly, Doctor. Please make sure you lock all the doors. <laughs> what is up with that lady, bro? <laughs> I need to so find that prostitute called Sophie who was pretending to be Margot Langer. If I can get her to confirm that this Johan was actually with her. Bro, this man is moving Sheesh. different. Bottom nah, he's different. He's giving Richard, like, a, a bad rough. look, honestly. Nah, he, he's taking... Can my wife booked a session for me? I buzzed the door. Please come in. Nah, he's using all the info. He's going crazy right now. better luck tonight if I go down there and look for Sophie again. It's worth a shot. Uh, good evening, Dr. Reichwein. Well, let's Mr. see who the husband is. Ah, welcome. It's a nice Big guy. You. Please, big guy? Sit down. Is this a big I, uh, guy? This is my first time in No council, way. So. Well, there's nothing to you know who the, uh, I'm thinking? All you need to do is relax. No. We're here to talk about whatever Fucking you want. hairline. You can rest assured that our conversation will be nah, completely nah, nah, confidential. Nah, no what we talk about stays right here. You won't tell my wife. Of course not. Uh -oh. How have you been feeling lately? Nah, and it's hairline, bro. About? We're fucked. Worries? Yes, yours. No way. It's what? hairline, bro! She found out about oh. my affair. And your feeling? Big guy. Let's wash the car and clean up the garage. Does doing things around the house make you feel better? Not really. And it seems like I hardly ever talk. <sighs> Do you want to talk to her but can't find though. a way to? I don't know about that. Well, what about the mistress? You He's know, the other woman, woman you had an affair with. Have you two... Yeah, I guess so. I killed her. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Jesus I mean, Christ. I had a dream where I killed her. So no, bro, what? You <laughs> oh, he's talking about... Oh, not often. Tenma's girl. Just once. It just slipped in. I killed her. Guess I did it because I was lonely. Is that the reason you chose to have an affair? No. It happened after I met him. Tenma. Damn. And now this really beautiful young man. Jesus oh, Christ. Brother. Okay. A little zesty, huh, Drake? Before he showed up, I felt like I was living <laughs> underwater. No matter how many people I killed, even after the wall fell. Okay, this, this guy's going crazy, crazy on the confession, bro. We we ain't uh, at church. That, everything was a lot more yeah, real. it's almost like he's gonna kill us in this room. It's, it's looking pretty pretty bad. Derp face. Uh, would you like some hot tea, perhaps? No, thank you. I'm fine. Well, well I need I to use the men's room. I'm feeling a bit yeah. thirsty. Yeah. I need to use the men's room. We'll be right back. Well, we're gonna need to see that 4-3 flat. Yo! My secretary's already gone for the day. She has a date. Oh, oh my God! Oh. Yo, the, the doc, the doc knows though. He's smart. You throw that shit at him. Hey, doc. Yes. What is it? I figure your job's gotta be pretty tough. Oh, it I mean, is. There's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. People telling you all about their dreams and secrets. We've been around, including ones that you probably don't want to know about. You know, nah, bro, I believe. Get you into I trouble. believe. Better throw that like shit right out of his face. Yeah, throw that shit out. Walk around knowing I'm a hit. This guy about to become Two Face. Yo, he just. <laughs> okay. So, anyhow, if you want to make amends towards your wife, you you need to start talking with her. Here we go. Here we go. Back up. Oh. Oh, yeah, like that. Look that shit. <laughs> Yo! Oh, he got gone, though. Nah, nah, oh, nah, we're chilling, we're chilling. That takes our running out of the equation. Nah, he didn't got aim like that, though. Oh, shit, maybe he does. Nah, we've been hitting the gym. Stop playing. <gasps> Tenma! Tenma? That's it. Wait! Why aren't you... Stop yeah. playing, bro! No, Stop Tenma. playing! Tenma. I've been watching over you, Dr. Reichbein. You're still in great danger! You need to get out of here! Keep running! Now run! Oh my god. What is so, so fucking fire, bro? Jeez. That was inspirational. This shit is so good. Oh man. Alright, boys. Monster episode 30. Ten was back, baby. Save the day. Monster, look at Monster. It's going up now. It's going up. It's going up a little here. Alright, we'll catch you all the next.